If you aren't familiar with Ohm's Law, I recommend watching that video before you get to this one. If you've already seen it, or are at least that familiar with electricity, then we can begin. That Ohm's Law video is super basic and only used one resistor. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at two resistors in series. We've also got our multimeters out, and we're going to be testing for volt drop. So again, in this lesson, we're only going to be working with a 12 volt battery to keep things simple. Also, I've color coded everything a little differently since we're using multimeter leads here. The battery is in black. Our circuit is in blue. This is our wire and our resistor. I've made the ohm symbols green. The red lead from our multimeter is in red. Our black lead from the multimeter is in brown. And our green multimeters are set to voltage. So let's give our resistors a value. Let's say they are both six ohms each. Since this is a series circuit and current flows through both resistors on its way through, you can treat both of these resistors like one by adding them both together. And six ohms plus six ohms equals 12 ohms. And we know from Ohm's law that there's going to be one amp of current flowing through here. So amperage stays the same all the way through our circuit. But what about voltage? Well, if you were to put a multimeter on your battery and put your red lead on the positive, the black lead on the negative, then you'd end up with a reading of 12.6 volts, or in our example, 12 volts. What you're doing here is measuring the difference in voltage from here to here. On the battery, you're gonna end up with a difference in voltage regardless of if the battery is connected to something on the car or not. Like in this case, there's a circuit coming from the positive post going to the negative post there's still gonna be a difference in voltage from here to here if this is connected or not. So what if we left our common lead where it is connected to this negative battery post and took our red lead and measured right here in the circuit? Well, from here to here, there are no loads. No voltage has been used up to get from here to here. There's still the 12 volts right here. Move away from this one and head to here. It's basically we're taking the same thing and moving over here. This red lead is now here and we've taken the black lead off of our negative post and put it after the resistor. We've gone through half of the ohms in our circuit and therefore we've gone through half of the voltage in our circuit. So we have 12 volts, 12 volts, 12 volts all the way up to here. Voltage gets used up through this resistor. And now we have six volts. So this is going to read the difference between here and here. So this voltage reading isn't half of this voltage reading because we've gone through one out of two resistors. If these had different ohm ratings, you'd end up with a different voltage reading. So just to run by that math again, we had 12 volts up through here until we got to our resistor, and now we have six volts. So what this is measuring is the difference between 12 volts and six volts. So this is going to read six volts. Now we have six volts here. We go through our resistor, that's our last resistor, so we use up the rest of the remaining voltage. Zero volts is here, all the way up to here. So six minus zero is six. And now that is measuring voltage drop across a resistor. All right, so we'll get rid of all those numbers. We're still gonna use a 12 volt battery. So we're gonna get the same reading here. This is gonna be 12 volts, but we're gonna have two different resistors this time. This is a four ohm resistor, and this is a two ohm resistor. That's a total of six ohms through here. So if we do the math, we'll end up with two amps. The amps don't matter much for voltage drop. It just matters that they are there because if you have an open in the circuit, then you don't have any voltage drop. Voltage isn't being used up by the resistors, so you don't get any volt drop. Using that amperage though, we can calculate what we're gonna get for voltage drop across these resistors. We're sensing 12 volts through the meter here and we're comparing it to how many volts we have here. If we take the amperage, which is two, and multiply it by the ohms, which is four, we get eight. So we're gonna end up with eight volts dropped across this resistor. We're gonna have four volts left after it goes through this resistor. So we're gonna be comparing 12 volts to four volts. So eight volts will show up on our multimeter. So let's follow the rest of the circuit to see if our math checks out. We've got four volts left, it's heading here to the beginning of the resistor. The resistor is the last one in the circuit, so it uses up the last of the remaining voltage. So four volts starts here, zero volts ends up here, and we're done with that voltage. With two ohms times two amps, we get four volts. That's exactly what we end up with on our meter. So that's the simplified math involved in a volt drop test. 
when you go to do this on a car, the math procedure is going to be the same. It's just the numbers that you're working with are going to be a little more difficult. At any rate, I hope you know more now than you did when you clicked on this video. If you enjoyed it, I've got a lot more videos like this on the channel, not just electrical, but I do get into that from time to time. So consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next Car Simplified video. Thanks for watching.